Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today we're going to cover Cryptic. Uh, he's a very important producer in Peep's life and in Peep's short career. Now, there's not a lot of information on Cryptic. He's a low-key dude. Um, he is on social media, but I couldn't figure out his real name. There's not even that many photos of him floating around. But um, he started making beats in 2012. He actually started making EDM-style production, believe it or not. And then he kind of um, evolved his style into a uh, trap alternative uh, acoustic-based sample sound. Um, he's 23 years old, he's from Nashville, Tennessee, and he actually met Peep in 2015 over SoundCloud. Uh, he actually commented on Peep's song, Praying to the Sky, and he wrote in the comment section, he wrote, you're going to blow up, and then Peep actually replied to that and went and looked at his page, and then they just started collaborating shortly after. Um, out of all the songs they made, now they made four songs together, and the four songs they made was Star Shopping. Um, which is one of Peep's breakthrough singles. Um, Nothing to You, The Way I See Things, and Give You the Moon. Now, Give You the Moon is pretty interesting because that was originally supposed to be on Live Forever, but due to um, some kind of drama he had with Schema Posse, it was deleted off the track list, and Peep didn't put it on the uh, mixtape for some reason. Now, there are some important factors to highlight when we're talking about Cryptic because he is responsible for a lot of the beautiful songs that Peep made early on in his career. Um... A lot of the na- a lot of the songs that establish Peep as a name and as a brand in this genre of music are due to the production of Cryptic and what Cryptic brought to the table. Um, one of the most interesting things I found out, believe it or not, is Cryptic and Peep never met. Um, this devastated Cryptic when Peep passed away. He was just so torn from this because throughout the years, him and Peep would stay in contact. And they would email each other and text each other and tweet each other. Um, They always planned on meeting, but they never did. So it's just crazy that uh, amount of unmeasurable success both of them um, garnered, but never actually met each other. Um, All the work they did was uh, solely over um, via text, email, and SoundCloud. So it's crazy that um, the body of work those two created and they never met in a physical form. It's just amazing what we can do in the um, digital era these days. So, uh, another pretty interesting element is that Cryptic, for as beautiful and sophisticated as his beats sound, he's a very simple back-to-basics guy. He uses Logic Pro X and an Alexis MIDI controller, so he's a very simple-minded producer. Um, He works really well with samples, but I was just kind of surprised by his setup. He really only has like two or three things that he uses. And I find that with a lot of producers, the more simple based their setup is, the more they really can just um, create almost these um, crazy engineered, sophisticated masterpieces. You would think that they have like 100 pieces in their studio, and most of these guys only have like two or three pieces of equipment. It's just pretty mind-blowing. Um, now, we got to get into some other interesting stuff, because um, after he was devastated from Pete passing away... Um, one of the most frequently asked questions he gets every day um, is, do you have any unreleased Peep music? Do you have any unreleased songs? How many Peep songs did you guys have that we haven't heard yet? Um, the answer is no. Unfortunately, Cryptic does not have any unreleased material. Um, what you see is what you get with their catalog. Um, whatever you heard from them is what they made together. So uh, Cryptic does not have any um, pieces of work he's just been sitting on over the years. Uh, whatever he had, um, he put out already. Um, Star Shopping, the funny story behind that is, to this day, uh, Peep's label is still trying to get that song onto streaming services. Um, they have assured fans that they're getting close to um, working out a legal result where they can get the song on certain sites, even though it has the copyrighted sample that they used. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if we finally get like an official upload for that. I know that the song was really huge, and it was Peep's biggest breakthrough song, and it got taken down for copyright infringement, and Peep was really pissed off about that. Um, and then he had to go through it again with Hollywood Dreamin'. Um, him and Gab had to go through that entire process again. So at that point, after these two songs, Peep was really just... He was like done with samples at this point. Um, he still worked with them on and off, but towards the end of his career, he was just done with samples from these two experiences alone. He was just so heartbroken because he put so much effort into these songs and they couldn't get the expo- exposure that they really needed due to the sample they had. Um, and this really bothered Cryptic as well because um, Cryptic really wanted this song to be embraced as a single to worldwide and he's very proud of this piece of work. So to have it kind of kept in the closet 
Um, it's just hurt. It, it just hurts the catalog of both artists. Um, obviously, fans know the song and they can still listen to it on YouTube. But as far as like an official release, um, I guess Columbia is still working on it. Um, and Cryptic is also an advocate for uh, drug addict for drug addiction and drug addict services and suicide prevention. Um, he was so devastated by the loss of Peep that he really dedicated some of his free time to just being an advocate and a spokesperson. So if you need help to get it, um, he's really big on that. I thought that was pretty interesting and just a beautiful story. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of information on him. He's a low-key dude. Um, he does have a project coming out in January. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Oh, it's called Goodbye, and it's going to be released in January 2019, I believe. He's had, he has a new project coming out. So, yeah, if you guys want to check that out. But, yeah, Cryptic is responsible for, I can't even tell you, some of the most beautiful and just emotional um, connected songs that fans really can um, embellish and embody through Peep's catalog are from the fingertips of Cryptic. So it's very important that we discuss Cryptic. He had a lot to do with the breakthrough of Little Peep and some of the most timeless songs. Um, all the songs that, me and, that uh, me and you guys listen to and know all the words to and almost cry to um, came to the production value of Cryptic and what he brought to the table. So I just want to share this video with you guys and let you know that uh, Cryptic was vital to the uh, output of Peep and very um, vital to the early on breakthrough. Mm -hmm.